Welcome on in, guys, to another uh, OJ's B movie review, backed by unpopular demand. Right? I fucking hate you, Joe, <laughs> and I hate chat for uh, YouTube chat and our last Q and A. Somehow they made keep us bringing it up. Keep bringing it up. Yeah. Bring back OJ's bad movie review. So we are back with another um, OJ's bad movie reviews. Of course, he gets his own show name wrong at the beginning. It's the B movie reviews, I guess. Well, if we don't you know what it is. It, you want to change it to B OJ's movie? We can. B movie. Uh, it's your Great series. Movies. You do whatever you want with it. Uh, but we had a the choice between Ape versus Mecha Ape, mm -hmm. which Joe showed the trailer in our last Q and A. Uh, versus what was the other one? The mean one? The mean one. The, the mean Grinch. one. The Grinch it was a parody. Horror. One. A horror. And uh, with 56% of the vote, we got forced to watch this piece of shit. Asylum movie. Okay. Asylum is the yeah. lowest of low, the bottom of the barrel. And I knew it was going to be bad. And guess oh, me what? Too. Me too. It was fucking terrible. Look. I understand I it was going to be, like, I knew it was going to be bad going in. Uh, the Asylum makes bad movies, Uncorked makes some bad ones, and Wild Eye. And this one This guy knows some, all of the bad movies I, I, <laughs> companies. I do. Okay, but this the Asylum has some bangers, though. Oh, like, uh, is it seal like, of approval? No, it's not. Like, okay. this Sinister Squad... <laughs> and we got trans transmorphers. <laughs> yes, these are called mm -hmm. mock busters. This one you might like though. The so other this one, is a mock buster. What's the other one? Atlantic Rim. No, uh, I bet you never one. guess. No. That sounds like a porno or something. I'm not gonna. You Atlanta might like that one. Rim. No, no. It's like I'd... Pacific Rim, but even better. Okay, Joe. I'd never want to watch. I'd never want to be a part. Of do it. I don't want it. Don't want it. Don't, after this, I knew it was going to be basically <clears throat> ten minutes of fucking uh, poor CGI and then nonstop bad actors talking on phones. Are you telling me and Tom guess what? Arnold is a terrible actor? Oh my God, Tom Arnold was in this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like he was the Secretary I, of I Defense. Want out. <laughs> he has now hit the bottom. Just. The man needs to pay his taxes. Well, how much could he get possibly be well, paid for an uh, asylum mm, film? I think bucks. that's it. This is the end of Tom Arnold's career. Maybe probably three hundred bucks. He was barely in it, though. No, I guess he was kind of in it as well as much as. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Tom. Yeah. Poor Tom Arnold. Okay, so this is Mecca. This is so Ape versus, Mecha, versus Ape. Mecha Ape. To, to, to who wants to do the honors of the fucking synopsis? All right, quick summary of this. This came out in 2023. Yes, uh, I, it was on my list to check it out. Uh, don't ask why. I just watch stupid movies because I can, and uh, don't judge me. So you're um, wasting your life and your time. Do you realize how many hours you could do something productive? Uh, but here's the thing. Like I said, I do. Do stuff while I watch it. Like these are the movies you don't really need to pay attention to, and obviously you know why. Okay, so okay, you, you so, do chores while you watch. Yeah. These things. So uh, the summary of this, real quick, is we have Abe, the ape uh, that is in custody Abe? of NASA. He went th into space, a chimpanzee. Is what not they in said, this movie, right? though. But not in this movie. A quick summary of uh, the recap. So, okay, but b before that, Joe made us watch. Not only did Joe make us watch a bad movie. A B movie. But Joe made us watch an Asylum movie. But even above that, he made us watch a sequel to an Asylum movie. A so lower budget sequel so with none good. of the original actors from the first one. So even, even on the Asylum Richter scale, we are... Uh, Okay, but well, in the matter. first movie, and this was important because, you know, and so I, I the fresh eyes, sequel. because I didn't watch the, the first one, which is Ape versus Monster. Now, in the cinematic masterpiece that Ape versus Monster was, was. Uh, NASA was working <laughs> with the, the, the Russian government because they were trying to do make establish first contact with aliens. Yes. And so oh, they were allied, yes. Yeah, naturally what they did is they sent a chimpanzee. Now, this is important because, <laughs> remember, chimpanzee. chimpanzee uh, into which space. which is it? Which is an ape into space? But the chimpanzee disappeared. That was going to bring back about world peace. Yeah, between the two countries. Well, it was going to end the Cold War. Yeah. in two thousand and seven. 
That's that is literally sounds the amazing plot. to me, guys. You know, no, there's more. Wait, wait, but wait, there's more. And then what happens is the chimpanzee disappears. The one that was going to end space. the Cold War in 2007, <laughs> and um, then then all of a sudden, then the movie goes flashes forward, and then the chimpanzee lands back on Earth. But something has changed. Something has changed within he's the chimpanzee. He's massive. Well, he only starts off m- like medium massive. Yeah. Medium. Oh, he's, that's he's a, right. He's a little yeah, bigger, yeah, yeah, but he's yeah, yeah. covered with green yeah. shit. Okay. And this green shit is is alien DNA within this chimpanzee. Alien goo. And this goo turns this chimpanzee into a CGI gorilla, <laughs> which is different than a chimpanzee. Now they don't know that. They don't that's know that. Silent There's also a, a gila monster. Are you making people want to watch? Uh, yeah, this, I know. By Look, the way. and this is the first movie. I'm just getting them caught up because they yeah, won't no, understand this ahead. movie without having seen the first one. Joe made us watch a yeah. bad sequel. And so the Gila monster eats some of this green goo. Now, Gila monster is really great. It's native it's a to, real the south, thing. to southwest United States. It's a venomous lizard, very slow moving, um, protected by the state of Arizona, but people still kill them because they're dicks. Don't kill them. They're wonderful little things. Yeah. But the Gila monster eats the green goo, turns into Godzilla. Immediately. God, literally, the Godzilla, Matthew, uh, um, uh, what's, the, um, what's the actor that was in Godzilla? Matthew Broderick. Matthew Broderick's yeah. version of Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. And so, there, well, let's say that's a giant lizard thing that is this distinct it's enough from the IP of Godzilla of where they couldn't get sued. And then so, but these two monsters, because they have alien DNA inside them, are being mind controlled by alien from a different galaxy. From the Andromeda oh. Galaxy. Yeah. Well, no. There's more. Let's not. Let's not. There's so much more to this thing. And so the aliens are controlling these two monsters to destroy the Earth. Now the aliens from the Andromeda Galaxy want to take down the U.S. government. It's it's in the movie. And so these two monsters are fighting the U.S. government. But the, our heroes mm-hmm. learn that they can build a transmitter to block the symbol from uh, si- the, the, the signal the yeah. signal from the Andromeda Galaxy, and they put it on the Washington Monument because it's real easy to CGI. But that gets destroyed. <laughs> it's just a- Rod. But the good thing is, our heroes had a spare in a van. Yeah. It's, it was you, just sitting in a you van. You always need plan B. It's a yeah. prototype. Why, I, why that one was a prototype. Yeah, so the prototype was in a van, and the prototype works, and it cuts off the signal from Abraham the ape, who is now a, he's no longer a chimpanzee. He's now a gorilla, and he's real big. And so now that Abe is free from control of the Andromeda Galaxy aliens who want to destroy the U.S. government, Abe kicks the yeah. shit. Linda out. says, go kick his ass. Yeah, so it takes a, an asylum movie for King Kong-ish to yeah. finally win. Yeah. Um, uh, and so that is what happens in the first one. And so Abe is now a good oh, guy. Oh, I see, Joe. The only place King Kong wins Hollywood is against Godzilla is an asylum sucks. film. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be any more perfect than that. Hollywood that in sucks. Joe's world, Joe's Z-grade movie world is the only time Godzilla has ever defeated, or King Kong has ever defeated Godzilla. Yeah. It's, it's the record. rip-off King Kong it's defeated the rip-off Godzilla I, in the Asylum universe. But so, I mean, that's a Yula monster. That thing's the venomous, and it would yeah. probably kick the shit out of Abe, we if, we're, if we're honest. But anyway, that's only the first that's movie the that first we did not movie, watch. Yes. Now, this movie no, takes place. No, then he kicks his ass, and then he gets to live in a retreat for the rest of his mm-hmm. life in with Nebraska. Santa Fe, New Mexico. In New Mexico? No, 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 Nebraska. Yeah, but they forgot. Yeah, but and so in the, in the movie we watched, Abe is living in the forest of Nebraska. Mm, where well, uh, NASA's taking care of him yeah, right there, the making mon- sure he's under control. Uh-huh. And uh, the government has made Mecha Ape to, uh, Why? Fight, to fight terrorism. Why? To fight is that what they terrorism. say? Yes. Are yes. you just making that no, shit that's up? That's the it's first true. scene we get. NASA created Mecha Ape in order to destroy uh, uh, chemical weapons facilities. Mm-hmm. Look, this is less stupid than the Jurassic Park movie that most of you fuckers liked. Remember the one with like, we're going to use dinosaurs as weapons, even though dinosaurs aren't bulletproof and they're no, stupid fucking animals. this is animals. more stupid. This, this is... A robot ape to fight terrorism... That versus putting lasers on dinosaurs' heads, I would well, choose lasers work, on dinosaurs' heads. It was heads. under control. It was under it didn't control. Work. It, did. it was programming it language. Got Shut up! Finish the rest of the fucking synopsis oh, before okay. we break it down scene by scene. Okay, so he's living in uh, captivity, and mm-hmm. the government is using uh, Mecha Ape for its purpose to uh, do whatever. Kill bad guys. And these fake Russians, they're not Russian, but it's a made up place. Yeah. But they sound Russian. They're like, do they hey, sound Russian or do I they sound know. like I, their, their accents fade it's in terrible. and out? It does. It's, it's it real does. bad. Look, listen, mm-hmm. they're on a budget. Yeah. Okay. I get it. All right. And they're like, you know what? They killed uh, one of our friends. The son. The son. 
He was such a great soldier. He was a handsome man. We loved him. The guy's, the son's mother is like, all the women, when they saw my son, they were like, this guy's got it going on. <laughs> this is, these are lines from this movie. So the mom said. Okay. Yeah. The mom she was really that proud like, that the, now we're the gonna son go. is getting more ass than a toilet seat. He was so handsome when he wore his uniform. So proud of it. The women, they noticed. We're gonna kill the Americans now. We're gonna take hack. revenge. We're gonna take revenge. We're gonna hack a uh, mecha ape, and uh, they're transporting mecha ape, and he breaks free. But why would they, they hack him? Yeah, but why would they hack him? The, the most important thing is why they hacked mecha ape. Because because the there was a nuke. The, well, yeah, there so was a nuke there was a nuke that got found, uh, completely unrelated to everything yeah, else in this movie. They that found was later on. A fishing boat. Yeah, but the reason they hacked Mecha Ape is because they a fishing boat found a nuke from the '60s, yes. and it was being transported to South Bend, Indiana, where Indiana, n- where nukes are, uh, you know, uh, disassembled. And so yeah, yeah, and so they they hacked Mecha Ape so they could steal this nuke, so Mecha Ape could then walk with his legs. To Chicago, you know, one state away, and then blow up Chicago. And the only one that, that can is, stop the him. The only one that can stop him is uh, Abe. Abe. His name Abe. is Abraham, Abraham, but they call him Abe. Abe. Or and then sometimes they call him Abe. The people that don't know him call him Abe. The people that know him call him Abe. And sometimes they call him Abraham. Yeah. So but he said this is the a shittiest fucking, you know, animal hero ever. Godzilla <laughs> is so much better. Even King Kong is way fucking cooler. This ape is so fucking stupid. The only thing that he knows how to do is see colors. So for some goddamn reason, Asylum thought this was so clever. I'm going to bring out two flashlights. So you, hey. you have this woman... Who with purple, Doctor Sloan or some bullshit? Purple, purple is calm. It's nothing to do with any of the characters in the first film that built all the rapport. This is a sequel. They couldn't oh, afford. The I guess the they first... couldn't afford to bring back the actors from the first film in their, their own sequel. They're probably friends of the production company guys. And like, you want to be in the sequel? They're like, no. <laughs> well, I want so to be in the sequel. So they had to get all new people. I would want to be in one of these stupid ass <laughs> movies just to and die, they got a just lady to fucking die. To do, and to, do a Russian accent, then die. Oh God! So you couldn't do worse than these people. <laughs> There's not even a motherfucking Wikipedia for Ape versus Mecha Give Ape. Give it time; it just came That's, out. <laughs> this it came out in came... April, no March of 2023. Not even a year. It hasn't That's even been. A year. It hasn't even been a year. Anyways, uh, so this doctor, she goes into the preserve with two mm-hmm. purple flashlights. Yes. That, means calm calm down, that means the calm down. That means the calm down. Hey. Out. This is calming, right? It's out. like a, it's like calm? being at a rave with with the the glow sticks. It's yeah. just like you you know you do a little e and, and then, then the glow sticks, and huh? then and then the ape uh, looks sad. So then she switches them to green, and she goes, "Hey, I know you're sad There's, because because NASA's be like, look, we have to get rid of uh, Abe." And it's like, look, we gotta s- spend some time apart. I know I haven't been coming around. It's a very touching scene. Look, it doesn't I... even have a negative <sighs> review. People are liking it. There's zero negative up. reviews from critics. There's no reviews from critics. There are zero negative reviews There's from clerics. No reviews from Technically, critics he's right. at all. Because they don't want to watch a, a sequel to an asylum film. Anyways, so then she says, let's play a game. And this is so fucking annoying. She repeats every goddamn line seven times. She goes, you want to play a game? Let's play a game. He's and an then she gets a joke. beach ball from fucking Walmart that's half deflated. Nobody on set could bother to fucking inflate the goddamn beach ball and it's massive and they do so much camera work to always show the human and the ball they never turn around and look at the a because what because that, that costs money. That costs money. But honestly, I almost think that CGI at this point is so fucking cheap. The CGI in this, it's probably cheaper than what they're paying the actresses. <laughs> so yet, it doesn't make sense that they're constantly cutting away yeah. from the cheap CGI for a more expensive beach ball. You have to go to Walmart. You have to actually have to buy that. It's like 80 bucks. You could probably get the default filter because the movement of the ape, oh, it looks so like bad. it may. Maybe motion captured in some way. Maybe they have a guy and then they just paste the fucking thing over it. But I, I can't tell. Because the skeletal... Well, his like 
I don't the Madden like technology, the Sapien technology He's was all wrong with, with alien his bones. DNA. It's that's how they look. It looks you just don't understand. Off. You have never seen a chimp turn into a gorilla with alien DNA. <laughs> that is true. So it's a chimp that is true, though. gorilla. It's a gorilla chimp. And anyway, so she's like, play a game. Let's play a game. And I'm like, what game are they going to play? And she's like, let's play ball in the hole. It's and you're foreshadowing. Like, the fuck are you talking about? There's the ball, but Riding there's no one. hole. They don't show a hole. It's like, where in this forest are you going to find a hole big enough to play ball in a hole? Use your imagination. It's like they write the shit backwards. How do you even get to that? <laughs> I don't think it was because written they down. had they had to come up with that because it's used at the fucking end. Yes. And I'm skipping ahead. Okay, so you did the synopsis. Yes. So Joe gets excited. I hear Joe. Whoa! You see? <laughs> Joe goes. You see? <laughs> to me, and I go. See what? <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen because in the beginning of the film, there's action. It starts in the action. They just. The fucking ape is fucking running, and you're like, what is happening? And it's like, beep, beep, incoming, and all the military dudes come out, and they have, like, the shittiest uniforms and the shittiest airsoft guns. And then when it's a long shot, it's literally CGI, you know, so they could have they, they just filmed that part. That was, that I don't was, know why was they were doing CGI terrible. soldiers from coming out. Because they didn't have the base, so that's why. If the base is CGI, they have to do the soldiers as CGI. Because they can't put them on a full green screen environment. They're using the and Unreal then, Engine, and then but put part them two. in the scene. So they had to do CGI <laughs> soldiers. So then the ape comes in, and they're like, "Fire!" And so they fire, and they don't have any rockets, but yet you see rockets hit them, and you see. It was from the Sam sites. You you just oh, didn't the see. Sam yeah, you, yeah you, there was lots of them. And then chunks. Chunks of you his think it's flesh disappear, mm -hmm. but then, it, but it was a ruse. It wasn't what? a real ape the whole time. It it's was a mecha, mecha ape. And uh, great uh, reveal. I'm gonna be honest. Great. Reveal. Okay, for a B movie like that, the first ten, the first five minutes of this film, it's like okay, because then the ape goes and he has a Gatling gun on his hand. I'm like yes. And the CGI isn't that bad on the robot because it, it kind of reminds me of the old school robot jocks, but only five times worse because this is CGI and Not robot jocks worse. actually only used you know, good. puppets and, no and practical reviews. fucking effects and stop motion animation. Here, it's just CGI. So he uses his Gatling gun and he fires once and, and all the soldiers fall down at one time. <laughs> Like the director said, ready, go. <laughs> and then they all fell down. And they're all CGI at that point. And then the title slams on screen in the most boring, simple font. That should have been the film. That was it. Just roll the credits. Because everything that came Wait. afterwards, I fucking hated it, Joe. More. But it was nonstop. Bad actors on fucking phones, and I thought this shit was over with. You watch Red Letter Media, you watch all these other things, and you, you're like, you notice a pattern. Like, bad movies, they, they got scenes of people on phones, yeah. and it was like, okay, it's an excuse. You get the pay phone, you yep. get the phone yep. in the house. But no, here, it's 2023, and all it is is they're on cell phones. They're on iPhones now. Every other scene is somebody on a goddamn phone. We had no, a couple. We that. had various scenes. We had the Pentagon. We no, had no, a seven no. K motel with the Russian terrorists mm -hmm. that were hacking. Yeah, NASA in Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, there was the great scene in the Cessna, the when they were indefinitely flying the in the the little airplane. How do you want to do this, Joe? Are we just reco are we just recounting scene by scene. No, we're gonna watch. No, look, look, and then you're, you're doing a spoiler movie. section. We need to figure out a format. We keep doing these without even talking about them. So what do you want to do? Spoilers. So, it, did, it, there is no spoilers. You, there's you no know, spoilers. It's all one section. It's Got just it. One section. Okay. It's gonna be bad. So you're here for dumb take it fun. Do, take it over, Joe or Alex. From do you that wanna, point. Do you want to know what happened? So in the whole movie, we'll just do <laughs> real quick, and then we can talk about. So Mech Ape is revealed to be a, a tool that the U.S. government uses yep. to take down this weapons base. They use it based on Abe's measurements or something. They needed Abe's for some reason, and then now they have Mech Ape, so they don't need Abe anymore. Nope. And so the big, like the big pain point right here is that people in Nebraska don't want Abe living there because he's dangerous, and so they want Abe gone. But 
Abe has grown accustomed to living in Nebraska. And if they move him, he could freak out. They don't know what the alien DNA is going to do. And so, like, they're building up this whole thing about it that really doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't. But at this time, the the evil terrorists from um, fake Manistan um, uh, have hijacked Mecha Ape. And he punches through the, the Hercules that, that was transporting yes. him back from fake Manistan back to Chicago. And he lands in Lake Michigan, and they have... Also used a Roomba to break into the, the nuclear <laughs> weapons facility. <laughs> Jump um, all around. Um, okay. That's pretty much it, what's it, going so on. So a bunch of Russian hackers show up in a what motel? 7K motel. Is that is that a real thing? Why do you that, keep saying 7K? You just uh, noticed it in the background? No, they literally were there for two minutes on that sign. It's a, 7K they wanted people to motel. know the 7K it's motel. Rig. It's better than the Motel 6. <laughs> And the Super 8? Oh, yeah? Try 7,000, motherfucker! Because that shot. hotel is where they filmed all of the rest of the scenes of the movie! But it's they very... just converted the entire yes. uh, the interior of the hotel. They left it the same for these Russian aid hackers that come in and say, I've hacked into <laughs> the, the, the mecha ape terrorist con- robot CPU fighting unit, robot. CPU gun. That's actually CPU better unit. acting than we saw. Though. Yeah. That's pretty good. And then they convert the entire in the hotel to the Pentagon, which I wasn't sure was the Pentagon. I don't know what it was. It, it was, was just they, a, they it said it was the Pentagon. Pentagon. Yeah. yeah. And they, why? Was, because there it, was stock footage it, of it, the Pentagon. They did. They said at Pentagon before, Washington DC, yeah. That was a hotel room. And yeah. <laughs> it was an office space. Anyway, well, they had smoke machines in it because yes. it was very smoky in there. <laughs> For what reason? I have no idea. Eastern well, y'all Europeans. skipped all the important characters. Oh, which so ones? Y- you know, the film starts with motherfucker. Oh, the okay. I'll tell you all the characters. The drone guy who was actually so we think he's an animal rights drone guy, guy, but he turns out not to be an animal rights guy. He studies extraterrestrials. He's a, he's a, and he studies he's the aliens. Alien guy. And that's how History he knows how to channel. fly because he says that they're like, hey, how do you know how to fly a plane? He's like, when you study aliens. You need to get close to them. And then That's... you have the old guy. And then there's three characters that are in the command center. You uh-huh. have the old guy, yep. the Asian lady, uh-huh. and the Pierce? official lady. The official lady turns into the Sloan lady later on. So yeah. she's Sloan, and she's the one that has the personal connection with the ape. Yeah. But the old guy's purpose is... He's the ape specialist. He yes. monitors the vitals of Abraham. And the Asian sure. lady's purpose is... Ex- exposition. She's the NASA lady yeah. that is... In control of Abraham, what's going the, on. NASA owns Abraham, yes. yeah. and the drone guy says NASA mistreats Abraham, and NASA is so controlling, and you can get this like anti-government, you know, yep. vibe off of him. And he's like, I'm very concerned about all this stuff. And there's even protesters with really poorly made signs outside that saying. F- Make the ape go home, and it's like, put him in a zoo. It's like, but he's an alien from outer space. What are you talking See, about? What do you do with that? I don't know. I, I don't know. Where, I you, don't where know. you put him? But it's so those own. are our those are our characters, and the only reason why I mention that is because interspersed in this whole film, we cut to these characters just on, on, on phones. phones talking to each yes. other, and they piss me off. Sometimes we'll get the wonderful treat of them walking from one scene to the next. And I'll tell you, the fucking Foley guy here was like, I am the main star. Because the first time they walk from one scene to the next, they ADR those footsteps. That Foley guy is killing it. I'll let you hear a little clip here. So, yeah, then we get the hacker scene where the hackers go to 7K, and they hack into, apparently. It was super easy, by the way. It was super easy to hack into the counter-terrorist mecha ape robot. And Roomba. But, yeah, so but they needed to get the, uh, the, the, out, the fucking layout of the, the military new base. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so they to used get... vacuums. A Roomba. Which is... Pretty clever. Mind mapped out my first floor. Yeah, do you think they have military facilities that got Roombas running around? No. Yeah, <laughs> and, and just r- Roombas from a third-party company are just allowed to come in and... The robot 
robot vacuum has mapped out the main floors of the DEG lab contained to these sections. We have the reception lobby, main corridors, laboratories, the break <laughs> Map the floor. So they use vacuums <laughs> to get the floor plans. Yep. Brilliant. Because they're gonna Jeez. they're gonna break in later on and do this little high subplot to do what? I don't know why they're in there. They're in there to get that uh, the missile. The they need oh, the nu nuke. nuclear missile. Yeah, because they found so the it nuclear off. facility yes. uses Roombas. Yeah. Yes. And we got one of the greatest kill scenes ever. <laughs> well, actually, it was a post kill scene where sometimes super short guy is talking to sometimes super tall woman. And while well, she's off screen and she pops up and she's got blood all over <laughs> his face and she's like, I killed the guard. He didn't put up much of a fight. And it's so <laughs> awkward. You guys were laughing. You it was it was a, it was a dumb scene, but I liked it. I laughed. She I laughed. laughed. She's like, she's just, you know, she's there waiting. Is he done with his line? He's done. Okay, uh, I killed the guy, and she's got like ketchup. One little thing okay. of ketchup, and he tries and he to wipe it away, but he, but can't, he can't, can't even wipe it away. And so, so he has to so keep. Awkward. He has to keep doing and it. She's like, get your hand off my face. It's really awkward. Not anymore. He didn't put up much fight. They never do, my dear. The dialogue is so bad, and one guy goes, it's the alien DNA in A from uh, space, and OJ just laughs. And he goes, you don't get these lines in Hollywood. And I said, no, Joe, you don't get these lines in like this from Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. In fact, not delivered this way either, these lines. No, 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 they do great. So not only are the lines terrible, but they're delivered terribly, and I hated it. I hated every moment of it. So uh, I, I, here's another charm of these, all right? Because like I love terrible acting. There were no charm in this one. I there are previous bad acting. movies that did have charm. This was just fucking phone calls back and forth, and then the whole fucking film for some goddamn reason. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so they hack Mega Mecha yes. Ape. It rises from the sand. Yes. And the military does nothing about it. <laughs> Why? Because they didn't want to pay the military lady who was wearing a military outfit to speak. Because mm -hmm. no, you her, told this, me that dialogue. Yeah, if you have speaking lines, you have to be paid. You scale. have to be paid. So the military doesn't say anything. Her whole scene it was, was Tom Arnold. Yeah, she did that. She didn't even do the hand thing. She, she just did stands for a there bit. and looks looks and at then, him. Uh, Sloan Foster, this is Laura Miller of NASA. Uh, Deputy Secretary Boyd of the DoD granted us clearance. We're here about the weapon system that was on board that plane. And then Tom Arnold See. says, I will not send in a third wave of infantry to get killed. And it's like, we didn't even see wave one and two. What are you talking about? <laughs> we heard about them. There was like, I won't let any more National Guard die. Instead, we need a plan. The other lady goes, I know that is! She's screaming at the top of her lungs, all well, of her Alex lines. Well, Alex told you why. I told you why. Why? Because she was, she was acting with the great Tom Arnold, the dude from True Lies. <laughs> And so and she wanted stupid. to really, she wanted to really show off for Tom her Arnold. Intensity. So all of her scenes with him, she's, she's screaming, fucking screaming. <laughs> so she's like, "We're going to use a nuke," and he's like, "It's insane. We're not using a nuke." And then he's like, "Let's use Abraham. He's as big as him." <laughs> so while this is going on, I turn over to Joe. I'm like, "Hey, do you think like one of these is like, hey, this is my breakout role?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the this Russian gonna, guy. You see that Russian gonna guy? This is going to put in, me on the mat, baby. Intensely, like, doing his, like, side eye. And he's like, I, I'm going to be the next James Bond film I'm doing so good. I'm like, bro, you just got blacklisted from Hollywood. You worked your ass off in these That's scenes. I like these dumbass films. And it's like just watching these people, <laughs> though. And terrible accents. <laughs> Terrible CGI. <laughs> I'm going to make you edit this, Joe. You got to put scenes of him, oh, him like, you know, intensely looking as we're talking here. Anyway, yeah. so then uh, the the ape rises from the sand and goes on a rampage. It punches a fucking house. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> yeah. and they decide to use a lot of storm chaser shots from B-roll. Like, the insulting nature of showing actual people's houses that were torn apart by a fucking tornado or some natural disaster their lives are shattered but instead they have to see their house in a movie called ape vs mecha ape with a poorly retroscope fucking flame effect on their house after it was ravaged 
and their dog probably died <laughs> to add insult into injury. Now they're in the eight verse monster eight because they use all this fucking B-roll because they can't be bothered. They have no budget. They have a hundred dollar budget. Anyways, so then That's uh, true. they're resourceful. We'll so just say they're resourceful. Here's the the where the movie see the movie had potential. <laughs> it was setting up this this it battle. Did. It did. And and I'm like, okay, this could be like, you know, just silly battles, right? But instead they decide to go with the Sloan angle. So she shows up and she starts running toward she she actually first she goes goes into a building and then she goes up the flight of stairs. How many flights? <laughs> It was, it was like nine or eight or nine flights of stairs, but you can clearly tell that it was only a staircase for maybe two or three levels. So they had to tell her, keep, keep go, okay, come back down, come do, back it again. In, do it again, and then film it from different angles. So it looked like she's going That's movie really magic. high. Movie it's magic. Movie magic. Magic. Except for you can see right through it. <laughs> you you see the same fucking hallway over and over. <laughs> so then she gets to the top, and then she does her best fucking Spider Man impression where yeah. she runs across the rooftops and jumps on the back of a military fucking transformer ape firing guns and machine guns and missiles <clears throat> and then the the camera cuts to the fucking back of yeah. the ape here's where but I, she's not there yeah. joe i think the editor fucked up because he was supposed to be like all right you see it Going across the building, and then she's supposed to run, run and then you get that and then scene. get in there. But, but the, the editor, editor put it in yeah, reverse that's what order. I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Because we rerounded it to see is it's she like, on no. the back? She's not even on the back. And Joe goes, "That costs money." <laughs> <laughs> is that what the editor said? No, that costs money. I don't care. People aren't gonna look at it. People aren't gonna watch the movie. They're gonna do chores in their fucking house, like OJ says. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. So she jumps on the back, but she's not on the back. But then in the next scene, she's on the back when it's close up, and then she, she goes opens inside. The door and goes inside. But this is where the movie goes off. Just like it's this the is where worst. it goes off the rails. Yes, because the rest of it was stupid. But, but now the rest of the film, she's stuck in a fucking. Janitor closet. They film her in a fucking closet. Only they put a server rack on the left side, and they put some fucking junk computer parts in front of the camera, and then Random shake wires. the goddamn camera like. Hold on. Like, like the <laughs> operator has Tourette's or something. The entire film, and then the first thing she does is she gets on her cell phone, and then the rest of the movie, it's. People calling her on her stupid fucking cell phone. And they're going, whoa, whoa. And Joe's like, yeah, why didn't she just start ripping everything up and turning it off? Well, they established why, Joe. It's why? Very, it's very clear. They said if, oh you, my God, if I... you disable the weapon systems, they automatically fire. It's, it's standard, standard protocol. protocol. And so she can't disable Don't the weapon Joe. systems because all the missiles and the nuke will go off. It's standard protocol. <laughs> they set it right there. It's standard protocol, protocol that when the CPUs get turned off, all the weapons fire? Yes. That is literally Here's what the they thing, say. Though. That's the, what they say. Yeah. Here's the, to yeah. excuse, to give the actress the excuse to be in this fucking robot this whole fucking film. But do you not give them any credit at no. all? They have those stupid throwaway lines. No. Like, hey, we sent waves of military. We're not going to show you. Because, again, that costs no. money. I know what we're you're trying to do here, Joe. Yeah. Hey, we're, 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 we're saying Knight. in big All budget cool films. was off screen in Moon Knight. In big budget films, we're always like, man, if they would just say this, it would address that. But the thing is, that is the entire content here. It's like, but these things happen no, off so screen. No credit. No credit. No credit. But they, it, they address no. it. Mm -mm. Okay. You get credit okay. if you're doing the big budget, and then you mention it because you already gave us all the okay, goods. Look, this is here. The there asylum. are no goods. <laughs> There's no budget, and then no scene. I don't, bro. There are CGI artists that you can pay that will do but an entire him, movie. Though. They don't want to pay him. Why? Money. They, but no, it, it doesn't cost that much money, Joe. I don't know what the budget of this film Me is, neither. but I, I guarantee I'm, I'm you're not going to look it up. Look no, it up. I am gonna it, look it up. is not in. There's not even a Wikipedia page for this film, Joe. You're not going to find the budget for this asylum film. 
Anyways, so yeah, so that's why they she can't disable the the mecha ape, and so she spends the entire time in the mecha ape yeah. trying to flash colors at Abraham. So how does a, she flash the colors? She makes she makes the blue eyes turn red and red. How? Well, by connecting oh, wires, the wires together. Why she, skinny wires? She knows she exactly hot wires she, a yeah. fucking military robot. That's correct. So that the eyes flash. Red. What is it? Red. Red. red and is that onion. tells. Red is yeah. Uh, it's hey, you need to back up. Red. Se- red means don't. Red means g- run away. No, no, no. Red means I like distress. Do, like, run yeah, away. Distress. Yeah. Yeah. No, orange is distress. Red is run away. And so the military flies over Abraham and drops him off in front of windmills, and to stop the robot. And yep. apparently he gets his ass kicked, but we don't really see much of it. He gets shot. Some blood. He he gets shot, but like the CGI has him doing like oh that's once he gets into the, the mask. City. You know how the mask they're firing machine guns at him and he goes Woo, yes. Woo. That's what Ape is doing to Gatling guns that apparently cannot move. No. That's it's only once he gets the city position. The, the first time he gets shot in the pectoral, and we think that he's seriously injured. Mm-hmm. But so then that's alien... why she said she flashed the red eyes, and he sees the red eyes on the ape, mechanical okay. ape. He doesn't immediately get pissed off, be like, bro, what the fuck? You flash the red eyes at me, I'm going to beat your ass? That's no, he gets scared and run away. Yeah, he got shot. He got shot up. In the... His alien healing powers hadn't kicked in yet. Yeah. But they are going to. So when he There's loses, line. round line. one. There's a line. <laughs> round one. Yeah, you always lose. Ape. Abe loses, and this is where the Russians do a fucking stupid ass scene where they, I don't know, rent out a high school overnight, and they're filming in the fucking hallways, and they have backpacks that are way too big for them and black shirts that they got at a Goodwill, and they're special forces. Hey, that's where we go. Okay. And then that's when we get the funny <laughs> scene where she's hiding just off screen, like to make it yeah. cool. It's like, what about the guards? She's like, oh. Our special forces lady, she's so good, she already killed one of them. And then when she pops up, she goes, yeah, he gave me a little trouble or something. like. And she's got blood no on trouble. her face. No, no trouble. No trouble at all. <laughs> With oh. her amazing accent. Yeah. From not Russia. So then they get the fucking nuke. They get the nuke. And uh, the nuke they push looks it cheap out. as shit. Well, it's from the 1960s. It looks like, <laughs> it looks, you know... I was about to say it looks like Alex built it, but Alex may have built it better. It looks like Joe built the fucking nuke because it's got these little flaps and little fucking door hinges. It has a sticker just to let you know, the, hey, this is uh, on the missile flaps. There's a door hinge. And crazy and all that. Fu- I would make a stickers. way better one, yeah. So, so the mecha it, ape yeah. shows up and and picks up the missile, and we're they, like, well, they wheel it out for him, and she's with her iPad controlling him. He's like, oh no, he's coming. We gotta hurry up and do this. So it's like, but oh, how does she control him? He's a pen. It, it's, iPad. She's, iPad. The whole time they keep saying he's on uh, autonomous control. Yeah, but then she. So has he's, she's controlling him autonomously in order to pick up the missile, but he has no way to store the missile. So they decide to just CGI yes, artist was like, well, what? What you didn't? Where do so they just normally go? Super glue the fucking it, missile a onto his on his thigh. thigh. It's his thigh holster. That's where holsters go. Yeah. He's Robocop suddenly and he, uh, he puts glues him in there the missile and starts to his taking thigh. off to his destination, Chicago. Mm-hmm. And Chicago is in danger because yeah. Mech Ape is going to go over there and destroy everyone. Yeah. But we have a scene of Tom Arnold, and everybody gets super intense, and he's like, why was there no warning? And she was like, there was no warning because there was no warning. And he was like, why didn't anybody warn us about no warning? <laughs> look at the dialogues. Like, we need to send the ape because it has a size advantage. That's when he was saying, like, I'm not sending in any more soldiers. We need the size advantage. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that was a great one, though. Then we get stuck. Like, Are you of- sure it's stu- it got hacked? He's like, we believe it, it got hacked. We need to make sure it got hacked. I was like, it's carrying a nuke going to Chicago. I think it got hacked. <laughs> How much more proof do you need? <laughs> and there's no, no military. Like, we need more proof. <laughs> no active military. They but, don't even talk about active military. They talk about National Guard. And they're like, I refuse to potentially put any more National Guard at risk. Even though there's a nuke 
on a fucking terrorist guerrilla <laughs> robot that is going to destroy the entire city of Chicago and set off a nuke on mainland the United States of American soil. And What's he doesn't want to send soldiers to stop it. It's doing exactly because they might what die. Yeah. Are you fucking stupid? Well, they only work one weekend a month. Yeah. Well, it, it does. Hey. Don't 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 you It's do like that. every Hollywood movie the army are fucking idiots. Yeah. So there well you this go. is even the the army's not even involved. This is the National Guard, Joe. <laughs> the army would have took care of it. He just forgot. He forgot that there was other <laughs> again branches like said, of the military. On vacation. So then uh they show stock footage of, of her helicopters as well. <clears throat> or not even both. it's not even stock footage. It's CGI. It's it's CGI stock footage. Here's it's the, the lowest of the low. They they're spending their CGI. I need to go in there and talk to them and help them out. Yeah. Like, look, you're spending your CGI on pointless shit. Just get stock footage of that. What I don't understand we need why better footage of the ape fighting or something else. Why didn't no YouTubers show up in this just for like clout and and to get their audiences and Asylum seeks out YouTubers so that their next film would do a little better, right? Because they care all about of their, their audiences. And I was just about to say, Joe wants to be one of those. I don't want. Look, I but don't, I, the I don't answer want clout, to that question. I don't want clout. I don't want. And we were supposed to be in a B movie, but yeah. COVID happened. Um, but I don't want clout. I don't want any of that shit. I just want to be in a terrible B movie. Joe wants to be in, a, in an asylum film. A terrible B movie. Okay, you'll be in his eye. If, if they hit me up, I'll, yeah. I'll be down. Okay. Is it going to be bad? Well, I'm I've always wondered now. why they haven't done that, and it's because no YouTuber wants to <laughs> call <laughs> Who's up and dumb be enough to do that? For, for <laughs> pay guys. me with drinks and food. I'm there. No, it's illegal. They have to pay you scale if you want. Okay. But yeah. like pay so, the minimum. You can pay me the bare minimum. <laughs> anyways, uh, so the at Mecca A puts the nuclear warhead on his thigh. Uh, yep. taking off. Mm -hmm. And then... And then we do more phone scenes. I, it's like, I swear to God, if they say, if they do these phone scenes. I can't hear time. you, but my phone. Uh, where of... are you? Even though she knows exactly where she she's are. Trapped. She's screaming. She's her, at the, the third plane. act, she's screaming, where uh -huh. are you? Even Great though she reception. knows she's trapped in the fucking thing. Yeah, but it was low altitude. You don't know. And then, so then uh, they dismantle. She finally, inside the ape. She finally decides to do something, and she cries about it. She's sad about this it. This is really important, though, because so Abraham won the fight. Mm -hmm. Mecha Ape is in the process of being destroyed. The problem is, if Mecha Ape truly gets destroyed, his core will breach, which he said specifically is hot enough to set off the nuke. So they have to actually stop Abraham because he won too fucking hard yes. because the ape is strong. And so... Because of this line that we talked about earlier, where if you disable the weapons, Thank they immediately you. fire. She Standard starts. She goes, wait. Protocol. She goes, oh my god, I have to actually turn off the weapons, which will immediately fire, which will hurt and kill Abraham. But it's the only way to stop Abraham from destroying Mech Ape, because again, it'll set off the nuke. So she cries as she's pulling out these things. I got and emotional. The, and the Gatling gun fires. And and it hits Abe right in the chest again. But, and then but at that time, the Gatling gun is firing rockets. If you look at the actual CGI effect, it turns into rockets. Yeah. The, the, so when potatoes, you when you, tomatoes. When you disable <laughs> the the CPUs, it automatically loads rockets into the Gatling gun. There was probably a line you now, missed. Now everything you just said is that before or after she dis she says I dismantled the tether system. That's after. It's after. slowly powering yeah. down. So that's that was that was, was the buy more Chicago. time because yeah. the the mech ape was sprinting toward Chicago and yes. they needed to slow him down so Abe had enough time to catch up. So. I dismantled the tether system that doesn't power the thing down. It slowly powers it down, and yeah. she's like, shucks. It'll still have enough time to tension. get to Chicago. It's building tension, Joe. Yeah, that's what a tether does. destroy the city. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. And so when she disables the weapons, it uh -huh. shoots Abe, and Abe, we think Abe is dead. Uh -huh. And Mecha, Ro Mecha Ape actually powers down because when you disable him, he, he fired his weapons first before completely powering down. And then it's very sad, and she cries. And because it's so hot in Mecha Ape, she takes a nap. Yes. But we forgot another key element, though. Back with Tom Arnold, be like, hey, we need to find a deep enough hole. A deep enough hole. Or oh, somewhere yeah. to nuke. launch the nuke. Yeah. So everyone would be Because everything's fine if you just launch a nuke 100 feet underground. Yeah. There's, n there's That's no ramifications. I think he was supposed to say thousands, but he said 100. 100. And I don't think so that 100. He's a one-take yeah, man like Bruce Willis. Oh, Nick Cage. That yeah. was it. So then he talks about the 
spire or something, some yeah. sort of building that they were Chicago? building, but it didn't get built. But yet they did drill, and it was deep. And it was just deep. It was deep 100 enough. feet deep. Uh huh. And this was so we got to somehow get these two ro robot and kaiju in the right spot. So mm -hmm. that the kaiju can throw the robot down that hole. Because mm -hmm. they played ball, ball in the hole. hole. See, it all comes together. I fucking hate you. Yep. <laughs> and so, is that that what the audience is supposed to do? Oh, like, yeah. hey, oh, do you remember the scene? Yeah. <laughs> but the scene, the original scene to set up the ball in the hole was not a scene. There was never a hole shown. They, just they never even they play the game. She just said, you want to play a game? You want to play was, a game? Ball in the hole. He wasn't motivated. So, he was sad. So she cannot get out of the fucking mecha ape because she can't move the fucking door until, during the fight. Until the very end where she can open the during door. During the second, third fight, the door got unlocked. Yeah, so. Abe beat the shit out How of How did mecha. the door get unlocked? Abe won the fight and he punched him so hard the door opened. Yeah. That's not how the door works, though. The plot just wrote it into where now she can dislodge the to door infer. herself. She dislodged the door, and then she runs out, and the first thing she, she says... Let's play a game. Hey, come follow me. And I'm like, oh, I hate this actress. I hate this so mm -hmm. much. And she picks, and then Abe picks up Mecha Ape over oh. his head. And they just happen to be right next to this giant hole, and he throws Mecha Ape the correct hole into the hole. The same way Black Manta fell down, Mecha Ape fell down because he so slammed he hits everything all the way down. Yep, <laughs> and then his core <laughs> explodes, explodes, which makes the nuke explode. And then we right. get this badass scene. I don't know if you could get that. Can you get that you, screenshot? You're editing it. Oh, not shit. me. Okay, when you get the, that because you. Badass a apes. Abe's a cool guy. Yeah. yeah cool guys don't look at explosions. Exactly. Boom. Explosion. He's walking. Right. He's got a Beats singed ass. ass. <laughs> no, there's no more hair on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the third act is incomprehensible. I fucking hated it. And uh, did you know that when you fire a missile at a building, that the outer layer of the building falls apart first to reveal the inner layer of the building. Yeah. It's clearly a CGI it's a pretty cool destruction. It's like though. unwrapping a chocolate candy and seeing what you get on the inside. This this shot, you have to show this shot, Joe. It's okay, uh, Alex, question. Yes. Did you have any, uh, did you care about any of these characters more than Rebel Moon? They actually develop. Okay, so the the person who we think what? was a drone pilot, Joe, was, Rebel Moon was not that bad. Yeah, no, that's not what I said. Do you care about any uh, of these characters? NASA exposition lady would fit right in with Rebel Moon because we knew nothing about her other than she was on the phone talking to people. Uh, old ape guy uh, also fits right in, though I do think the alien studying guy has more depth to him. And uh, <laughs> Sloan has more depth than anything in Rebel Moon. Wow. I just wanted him to see that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, no. I mean, you're not wrong, Joe. You know the the random rebel leader with black paint on her face that just suddenly at oh, the yeah, end of Rebel yeah. Moon goes, ah! when Ray Fisher dies? Yeah. Like that, you take that character, and that are that character is all of the characters in this film. But the fact that that a character like that exists in Rebel Moon is is a fact that Rebel She's Moon was written one of the seven samurai, and no one knows her fucking name. Yeah. So now we're talking about Rebel Moon. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we got to come up with some cool shit for your show here, Joe. What about? Well, here's uh, the thing, because we're still we like gotta, on the works uh, for the score. We're talking. Yeah, we don't beers? understand how to do the <laughs> score here. So, how Chad, beers? if you will give us some ideas for so we could solidify the format of yeah. OJ's bad movie reviews. What I'm thinking is that we just give it a score, right? And and then some other kind of score that relates to how Too we know scores. it's we, we know it's one bad, score. Yeah. right? We know it's bad, but I was actually talking about something separate from that, Joe. I'm, I'm thinking mm. that we highlight okay. the best worst moments, you know, and you tell me what was your, because you like watching these things, what was your best worst moment in the film? And well, we yeah. do like one from each of us the, of the film. So for uh, this film, what is the best worst moment for you? Best worst moment for me? 
I know what it is. It, it, it has to be the terrible accent when she pops up. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the ketchup. The ketchup on her face. And some of the dumb fights. But um, well, before that, though, before that, I think... You didn't even fucking finish setting I, that up. All right, go ahead. Um, I think maybe we should just do, like, a quick summary of it and, like, do... Um, we already summarized it. No, no, no. I'm talking about for future, for future stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll do a quick summary of it and give it our rating and then be like, all right, now let's then you talk about it. The, yeah, then we'll just tear into it. That way, if but that's what if, we did. No, we were just talking about okay, like, we just a talk- lot of spoilers about okay. it, it in the beginning as well. But it, summary, mm-hmm. yeah, for I guess for future reference. But however you want to do. Uh, it. yeah, that was a terrible scene. Uh, I loved it. Uh, the stupid Roomba layout, genius plot, by the way. <laughs> Okay. You uh, you would have never vacuum floor plan. You would have never thought of that, right? <laughs> Who else has a layout to your house, Joe? The your vacuums, Roomba. and they hacked that, and so then they have the floor plans to the nuclear silo. Got it. So that's two that's two, two best worst moments. Alex, what did you? Uh, well, he took mine. So I also like the same actress. I think she killed it in every scene that she was in. The very beginning, when she's talking about her how son. fuckable her son is, and how all the women <laughs> love him when he's I in his downstairs uniform. I was downstairs getting another beer, so I missed that. And scene. it's like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, they're talking because yeah. there's a stain on the grass that's like, this is the what's left of our son. And then they just find a gold ring there, and like the medics didn't even care for this trinket. And the guy goes, it's just a trinket. She's like, wars have been fought for trinkets. Our son was so handsome. When he wore his uniform, every woman wanted to bang him. It's like, what the fuck dialogue is this? So I think that that yeah. woman is the star of this movie. All right, all right. Uh, mine and it, I think we all agree we can also do a combined one where yeah. you know maybe we each give one and then we vote on one. So obviously the one that's going to win is the scene where she's hiding off camera yeah. and then pops into like frame. Like how long was she down there? But <laughs> if I had to pick another one, it would either be uh, the standard operating procedure of all of uh, your weapons firing when you unplug something yeah. or turn it off. Yeah, it's standard operating procedure. Standard operating procedure. All of its missiles and Gatling guns and nuke will fire off yeah. simultaneously. Mm-hmm. That has to be the moment. Or the stupid-ass moment where she's has these tiny wires, the thin <laughs> little wires, <laughs> and she's hot-wiring them together so that the robot eyes will go orange and somehow... Fucking 30 feet away, Abraham sees orange eyes and he's able to distinguish between orange and red, even though in the CGI effect it looks red. And, and Apes then have he knows, great eyesight. He mm-hmm. knows that she's in there in distress or yeah. some stupid shit. She so. also specifically <laughs> says, Abe saw me. And it's like, no, no, he didn't. Yeah, you're, you you're stuck inside that. The, you're inside a janitor's closet. <laughs> you're in a janitor's closet. <laughs> My only gripe with this movie. Okay. Is how the fuck did they link the terrorist? Oh, no, only do I, gripe. You don't know. They, they, there's a line. Your only she's gripe. She's like, I know. She's I've, hacking, I've seen this before. She's hacking the mainframe she, within Mech A, before. and there's only what this. It's a super hidden programming language that only this brand of terrorist knows, and they use it so no one else can do it. But and it's and it's compatible with what Mech Ape was coded with. Are you just saying why were the hackers there in the first place? No, no, no. I'm just saying. Like, how did the good guys they, know no, specifically it was with those hackers? Specifically, non-Russian who it was. Yes. Yeah, yes. fake Manistan. Well, they, it was because of the said, code. Yeah, it was and she can recognize it because apparently she's an expert coder and hacker herself. Yeah, NASA. That's not her job. She's the NASA ape but specialist, and, and and the she knows they need foreign. Code. Code. They needed yes. to fix that a little bit better. I would have done sure, it for him for free. For me, that <laughs> whole fucking going inside of the mecha robot and filming inside a janitor's closet for the rest of the film ruined everything. The everything? hacker subplot yeah. sucked. That okay. subplot sucked. If you just focus on the ape, uh, the military built a fucking counterterrorism guerrilla robot. Chimp. And shipped he's it a, overseas. He's an altered chimp. And then when he came back from war, maybe he had PTSD and he fucking went crazy. And you had to just recruit the other ape to fight it. And we got a big fight. Like in Robot Jocks, fine. But all this other shit was stupid and I fucking hated it. So let's give it 
uh, a bad, uh, an OJ bad movie rating. So out of, on the <clears throat> bad movie OJ scale, so like say if you were to give this film a fucking three or a two or a four, or whatever, that, do not compare that score no, with actual no, no. movie and, review scores. Like, we know this is this within is, the yes. bad movie realm score. Right, so I'll go all... first. It's is a it... two out of fucking it? ten. Yeah. It's a two out of ten. None of it was fucking entertaining. All of the dialogue was sad. Tom Arnold has hit rock bottom. It is fucking a travesty that he's in here. I don't know if his career's in the shit, if he did something inappropriate, and that's how he ended up making Asylum films, but it's over for Tom. And then the only good thing was the first five minutes of CGI before the logo smash. So mm. you can just watch that on fucking YouTube and you're done. And then at the end, I guess there's a, f a few, like the fucking mask monkey. <laughs> Like letting the Gatling gun narrowly miss him there and letting it narrowly it miss him fights. there. More fights would be better. Right. There was a total of maybe 10 minutes of CGI yeah. in a fucking 80 minute film. So, two. Two out of ten on the OJ scale, even. And it was not. It was yeah, on the OJ was, scale because none of the characters too, no. were funny. None of them were uh, no. interesting. None of the lines were clever. None of the situations were clever, other than the vacuum floor plan, the room <laughs> plan. Why the government would allow third-party vacuums to map their floors, I don't know, but I get it. Very clever. You just saw the floor plan feature on your fucking Roomba cell phone at your Jeez. house. You know, I'm going to put this in the movie. So nah, two. What I about, agree with that. Well, no, you save your ra oh, rating okay, for yeah. last, Joe. Your uh, show. I've seen a lot of these movies with Joe, um, <laughs> and they do get worse than this. Um, what? They get a lot worse than this. And this Really? Is, this, this is one of the better ones? No, 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 no. no, 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 no it's no, nowhere no, near no, the better no. one, but I don't think it's as bad as a two, oh and I just God, think I that like it. there's there's a whole world that you have yet to see, my and parents. it gets worse my. than this. It does get better. There are some there are some better ones out there. So what would you rate? Um, I think that this is a below average OJ movie. I, I don't think think it has any of the charm. I would never watch it again. Um, but there was a couple times where you guys were laughing, and there was a couple okay scenes. Only and then Joel was laughing. If Joel wasn't here, I would have yeah. turned the thing off. And oh, I been oh, absolutely. Most of these movies are exactly that way. <laughs> yes. But like, you're also supposed to be like 12 beers deep, sitting on a buddy's that couch. Is... And anything I'm gonna laugh at. Yeah, 12 well, beers deep. Well, that's what the like. That's where these things okay. are. So I think this is below average. Mm -hmm. I think I'm. I don't know if I was gonna do a three or four, but I'll say that this is a four. Probably on that scale, yeah. and I was going wrong, Joe. I think I was using my normal scale because I'm Could, angry. On about no, it. normal scale, this is a one or a two. This like is probably like a one, one like two. on the normal movie scale. But normal. on the OJ okay. movie okay. scale, four. I mean, there's some boring ass shit. Like the what was the? There were so Birdemic many cell phone three? scenes. Birdemic, Alex, first one's good. Birdemic one's, three. Yeah, those those are bad. bad. How That's, half of this film was in a janitor's closet with purple I, fucking LED lights? I'm just saying that you should check out Birdemic Three. No, because uh, it's worse. <laughs> it's worse in every single way. Like I'm saying, uh, like these things can get okay. so much worse. You're right. Where there's not even anything interesting, and you're just sitting there going like. Why, Joe, did you put this right. on my TV? Like this, the CGI you, in this got it some and then, point. And so then you I, get okay, mad okay. at him because he put it on I'm your Amazon. Three, then. Because three. my Amazon recommends dumb shit to me every now and then because he will come over and put it on my TV. Three. So now you are cursed. Here's the thing. Three. Yeah. Um, three, four. Jacob has uh, my own separate account because I ruined his account. You ruin everyone's Amazon. Yeah, I yeah, have. Yeah. So when I come over, you have to put me on, on a separate account because if not, I'm, I'm not ruin. password sharing my Amazon with you. No, this I'm is how he tries. <laughs> that's, that's why he's going to try to get, you know. No, okay, yeah. It's going to be a three again. Like, there was some cool moments. It had some potential, but I wouldn't recommend this one. Okay. The, mm. the other one wouldn't looked cooler. It. Armageddon 2025. Okay. You know what, Joe? I think well, we'll see the comments. I think that your show should be a five system. That's with what I was thinking. Because last time I think words, we did five beers. I don't, right? See, I don't remember. Like it's been you know, so long. Like, it's been so long. Like the best thing is like can't be fun or some cool yeah. like Bapaeus, right? You know, because <laughs> yeah. Joe Joe's fa famous famously <laughs> said Bapaeus instead of badass. So maybe the best of OJ's movie rules is Bapaeus, and then it just gets progressively worse. Oh, it's God, just yeah. like fucking visual diarrhea or whatever is the, the final. So help help 
help come up with a five-star worded system for OJ's bad movie mm. reviews. But for now, we'll just stick with the, what we did, which is three, <coughs> no, four, three, three. three. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm, looking, think I'm of- looking at their lineups, though. Of, I think lineup. Alex should watch Alan and the Temple of Skulls. Cool. Alien? Is it an alien? That's basically Alan, uh, Indiana Alan Jones. and the Temple of Skulls oh. ripping off the mockbuster of fucking Alan. Uh, hey, Indiana look, Indiana, Indiana Jones was stolen property itself. Uh, well, so th- let me so also Alan me? M- mention. Ape vs. Monster. This is the film that was before this one. And then also 25, uh, 2025 Armageddon, which is the 25th anniversary film for the 25th anniversary of Asylum Films, Look at which that. puts all of their stupid CGI creatures in a single film, including Abe. So that's what we really should have watched, Joe. And I tried to convince him to watch it. But, but chat voted. But chat, chat voted. Chat on voted on and we have to watch the Grinch one. Five. Why do we? Have, well, we I have, don't have, to I have watch other now. ones in my list. The thing we'll is, see. too, is like, how do they get? Well, I kind of know, but like, how do they get some of these actors, though? I don't know how so, they get the I actors. Mean, a lot they of got the, Vin Ryan, Ving, oh, Ving Rhames. Vin Rhames. Well, so a lot of times, guy, like these people, they'll like, probably contact him, and he goes, "You know what? That's funny. Danny I'll, Trejo. I'll, I'll do it. Oh, Danny Trejo, do whatever. Casper Van. Yeah, we know how Casper's in these movies, but like, we know some. Like, we were talking to someone who makes these movies that like, there's some actual a listers She's like, "Hey, man, I met him at a party. They're super cool. They're like, if you can film it in an afternoon, I'll give you whatever I'll you do want. Whatever. Yeah, American Warship. Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers. Love him. Hmm. <laughs> They're they're cool people. Contact me, Asylum. They're cool people. I'm, Joe I'm, wants I'm to cool. be in one of these. I'm hip. I'm cool. <laughs> he just gave your movie a three out of ten. <laughs> I can tell you how to make it better. Yeah, Joe will get writing duties and producer credit. It's like, don't waste but you CGI. Like the, you yeah. like the Five Headed Shark movies, right? Yeah, it was dumb. Okay, well. But then it started going like six, seven, eight. What are they up to now? How many different heads? Yeah. Okay, Joe, do a do a tease at what could be next in OJ's bad movie reviews. Uh, let's go away. Mm, just I teases. Don't know. Um, or what have you been looking at on your list? Throw throw let, out three well, names. Well, I have my list right here. Do you really have an OJ's bad movies list? I, no. They're, they're just movies. That's your I personal mo- list. movie list. Yeah. It's worse. How's it worse? You don't know. There's uh, Netherworld. Look that one up. That that sounds that sounds cool. Mortal Kombat? Ne- no. Go under the Nether World. Nether World? Not Nether Realm, Nether no. World. Enter the Ninja. Okay. That sounds normal. It's like that nineties. Rise the kids. of Black Cat or Black Bat. Black Bat? Black mm-hmm. Bat. That's a terrible rip off of Batman. Black Bat. He's okay. Only Black Bat. Um, All right, well. My God. <laughs> We got a list here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, yeah. I, I want to end these things, Joe. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for joining us for another one of these uh, amazing B-movies. User requested bad movie review. That was on you. That was, that was on, on y'all. Yeah, because I was, like, was going to watch that one by myself because it was going to be – I know it was going to be dumb. Dude, what was worse? You dude, slingshot, you remember, you remember when we watched Slingshot oh, Cops? Oh, yeah. But that was kind of funny, fun. though. That, that was, was way more fun the than The guy this. had like a purple foot. I don't foot. even know that what our touched, rating you was. died. Yes. It was. I don't even, and so you, that would have made the best worst moment. So I think we keep that element in, in the show, the best worst slingshot moments. Slingshot Cops. So that you can put we the, film it in the, the clips. Put the clips of the things that we said yeah. in here. See, I want to watch more stuff like Hard Ticket to Hawaii. Because that movie is a 10 out of 10 on the OJ list. The Miami Connections, of course. That one. Like an eight out of ten because that oh. against ninja. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining <laughs> us. Uh, we will see you next time. I pick a. I will try to pick a better movie. On OJ's bad movie the, reviews. OJ's bad movie reviews. All right. All right. <laughs> thank you guys for joining us. Bye. <laughs>